Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So, I'm back with you with a Dawn and Julia Creates, um, and it is my turn to choose this week. Um, so, I've decided that we're going to do some tiny art. So, um, I have these um, just randomly in my collection, um, which I got from Tiger. They were in like one of those lucky bags. And I thought, you know what, why don't we decorate the spoon? Now, I've also included a couple of knives so that if, um, we, so that if we wanted to, we could um, build it up, make it bigger, like just slightly bigger to put bits on, whatever you don't have, but we don't have to use them, but they are included. But the, the plan is to decorate this spoon. So, to decorate it, um, we have a couple of wooden knives, we have some matchsticks, um, we've got some cheesecloth, I've got this really cool textured ribbon, we have this um, vine um, ribbon as well, it is actually adhesive I think. Um, we also have some little gems, we've got some bigger gems, some cabochons, these rectangle uh, cabochons, we've got some words, um, love words, we've got a flower, a couple of hearts and a few butterflies and just for added interest some mushrooms as well so quite a lot of random bits and pieces to decorate up our spoon but I thought oh and a little uh, clip as well uh, but I just thought you know what it's going to be it's quite fun something completely different so I'm hoping Julia loves me and she enjoys uh, doing this but I just thought you know what we all have little random bits around our house um, you know, we'll, if you haven't got the wooden spoon, you could use a plastic spoon, you could use a metal spoon, you can use anything, honestly. Um, and just a few little embellishments as well. So, we are to use white gesso and to colour it, we can colour any colour that we would like, um, but we are to use acrylic paints. So, that is the brief. So, what I thought we would do is, now, I'm wanting... Um, just a board just to pop this on because I uh, with it being mixed media I want to try and protect my mat as much as I can so I have my gel medium here so um, unfortunately it's the only one that I have at the minute um, and it is gloss but I do prefer to work with the mat um, but we have to just work with what we have so um, that is what we're going to do now I'm loving the idea of the knives and what I'm thinking is I quite like these two knives together and then maybe sitting the spoon on like that so I think that is what I'm going to do. So um, let's put a generous amount on so it should sort of sit around there and um, I'm thinking around this bit as well. So just where it's going to sort of touch and I'm hoping that this is going to be enough. Now, I'm going, I am going to be leaving this to dry um, overnight so that it is, um, so it's solid when we come to actually um, uh, decorating it. So as you can see, that fits nicely. Obviously, I don't want it to stick to this board. So once we've got all of our little bits and pieces on, we will um, sort that. But I am just going to wipe this excess off um, just like that. Uh, just because, yeah, I don't want to ruin my board either. So, um, so that's what we have. So that's what I was thinking. Um... So I set this challenge uh, about a month ago actually and um, I, I forgot what it was that we were meant to be colouring um, this with. So I knew, oh I quite like that there. Um, so I had to get in touch with Julia because obviously I'd sent the stuff to Julia um, along with a little note it's explaining what we are to do uh, and I had to ask her what it was that I had set. I thought I would remember but however I didn't so um, yeah so very kindly our lovely Julia let me know that it's acrylic paints that we are to use now you don't have to use everything on the list um, at all I really am just having a play and um, have a look at those in a second I really like the idea of the matchsticks but I'm not sure how 
or where I would sort of put them. Um, I was doing, actually, it's up on my channel, I was doing a matchstick canvas at the time when I decided to set this a challenge. So that's why the matchsticks have been included in this. Because um, I just thought, you know what, it's such a cool medium to sort of work with. I quite like that. Let's do it on the other side as well. So I'm just painting the gel medium on. So just like this um, and I'm wanting to have three on either side I think hopefully we'll have them looking about even so that needs to come down okay there yeah I quite like that okay uh, let's see I'm going to use them last I um, definitely want to use some of this cheesecloth for texture um, because I love using cheesecloth but I very rarely um, get it out to actually use. Now you can get this from any chemist, um, yeah, I think. I don't know actually. I've never actually bought it from a chemist but I know a lot of people say that you can buy it from a chemist. So, yeah. I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I'm sure if you looked online, um, you would be able to find cheesecloth. But then you could use old bandages, but not old bandages, but you could use a bandage. You wouldn't want to use an old bandage because, yeah, I don't think that would be very good. Um, right, I'm using my gel medium to stick this. Now, normally, what I would normally do is actually just use my white gesso to do it. But as we are adding bits and pieces to it... Um, I thought, you know what, let's just add in our, um, add it on using our gorgeous gel medium. Um, and then we know it's going to have a really, really good, um, it's going to be stuck really, really nicely. So, right, just making sure there's no bits that hang, I don't want any bits sort of hung over. Okay, right, loving that, loving all of that texture. Um, I do have a bit more, but I don't think I want to add that. Um, I do, however, feel like I want to add some of this to it. Um, maybe just about there. Let me grab some scissors. Um, because what I'm thinking is we sort of shape it. So just like that. Oh, I quite like that. Yeah, do you know what? That's what, exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. So let's stick this down like that. And then um, let's cut around it. Yeah. Oh, I don't want it to sort of lift up. So I am doing this very carefully. Let's make sure it's well adhered down. I would probably say it's best to maybe leave this part to dry um, to do, but um, I am very impatient, so yeah. <laughs> um, we'll do. We'll just do it now. Okay. Oh, loving that texture. Absolutely loving it. Right. Okay. Now. I definitely want my cabochons on, I want my gems on and I thought these gems would be really cool if they were, were put upside down. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have a few just along here. Um, I'm sorry if you can sort of hear anything. It is, um, it's an absolute gorgeous day when I'm filming this. And um, yeah, and our next door neighbours are children at our plane, which I just think is lovely. Now this, <laughs> I am actually going to pop some gel medium in there because this is what I'm going to use at, to hang it on the wall with, which is why I added it so that I, we could actually use it to hang on the wall. And then, oh, perfect, love that. I'm going to just put gel medium on there so that's always going to be adhered. Now, um... We can sort of make, 
Now I want my butterflies to be, oh I love, 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 I love that there. Um, I do feel like it needs to be sort of raised up, maybe just a touch or even, no I like it there. Um, yeah, I really, really like it there, so that's where we're going to have it. Okay, so let's adhere that down. Love. Um, and then we've got some cabochons that I really want to use. Now, with regards to the cabochons, I think I need to paint, although we will be painting over them, won't we? Yeah, we will be, so... This one, I'm actually going to put in the centre of here, like that. I oh, love that. Um, let's pop one of these just on here. Make sure that we take all the excess gel medium off. Um, yeah, loving, loving it. Um, I love adding cabochons, I think they just work. If you don't have cabochons, you could actually use your glue gun and just do glue drops. Um, that works just as well. Now I hope that Julia really likes this challenge. Um, I just, I honestly, when I was putting it together, I just thought, you know what, it's something just a little bit different to what we would normally do. Um, and I thought it'd be fun. I'm hoping she's not thinking that um, I've been mean, um, but yeah, I hope she enjoys it. I actually, I know she'll enjoy it. She loves our challenges just as much as I love our challenges. Um, I don't think I want to ha add the hearts in. Um, oh, I quite like that love there. So it's oh, actually, what about the love? Yeah, what about the love just sat on there, just like that? So I think I'll do that. <laughs> There's a, a lady barking at her dad. So I want a few more of these cabochons just sort of dotted um, around. Yeah, I just feel like we just need just a few more of them. And there she goes. Um, okay. I am really just sort of, I don't know what I'm doing actually, I'm just having a play and just hoping for the best, which is all we can do. Um, it's all about texture because, I mean, you've got to sort of ignore the, um, yeah, we need to ignore our colours of what we are using because you've got to sort of imagine that these are going to all be painted um these are going to be painted um over in white oh i like that just sort of there um so because they're going to, going to be painted in white then we know that, that um we can change the colors of them so you just really need to look at the texture of them um oh, i love and i think this one is there so let's get this one adhered down um, so yeah, I think on that cabochon there, just like that, so oh, I love it, I absolutely love it. Right, the last thing that you want to do is, uh, um, right, I'm going to put a blob of this on and then we're just going to pick these up um, and just use these for our texture. Now we will lose some. Um, we always, well I always do, but by doing it this way, it just makes life, trust me, it makes life so much easier. Um, it's, I'm just thinking up there might be nice to, to have some. So again, let's pick some of these up. Um, and because of our brush is sticky, then we can pick up plenty. But like I say, we will end up losing some as we colour it. So, um, but I really do not mind that. Okay, I'm just going to pop some under there. So let's pick these ones up. Um, that we have just sort of, yeah. 
I love adding stuff like this and seed beads as well is another one that I like to add um, in when it's all painted over that texture and especially if you put a darker colour on at uh, ladies starting because why wouldn't she it's lady I'm just going to turn this around because I just want to pop a load of these underneath here as well I think that might be a bit too much um, a gel medium but we shall see I just think it would be nice to add some more um, I'm hoping I put enough in for our lovely Julia to use um, let me know Julia if you had enough um, and I'm hoping none of us will be on the naughty step this, this week um, I don't think we will be we're both quite good with the rules. Oh, loving it. Absolutely loving it. Okay. I don't know if I want to sort of add anything else. Actually, um, maybe here. Just in this little spot here. Um, and the only reason I'm adding them is because I'm really enjoying actually using them. So that's it. That's the only reason. Now these were actually gifted to me, but I can't remember um, who they were. Um, we need so we've got one, two, three, four. We've got five places, so I don't need any more places. So yeah, so that is it. Um, I do love these mushrooms. Part of me wants to add one just for the sake of adding one, but I don't know where I could sort of add it onto. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go down the butterfly route. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, so where the are oh, there? There's my lid. So I'm just going to pop all these back in there because I think that is it. Um, and I think that what I will probably do, yeah, is colour it using our acrylic paints. And then I have this silver heart, which I really like. Um, and then we've got these two gorgeous butterflies. So I think I might add one of those butterflies on for a, a last sort of pop of colour. Um, so I am going to leave this to dry now overnight so I can come back to it tomorrow. Um, if it is dry later then I will do it later um, but it all depends on how I am feeling but oh, it's going to look good. I can't wait to see what our lovely Julia does and what she uses. It would be interesting actually to see um, if she sort of has a similar idea but you know that our mix are always seem to be quite separate which I absolutely love we are given the same stuff I'm just taking this out because the one thing with craft box items is this cardboard bit always goes really horrible um yet yeah, we always go in, in different directions and I just think it's amazing how we have the same stash but yeah completely different styles and both have completely different imaginations um, which I think is fab but I love the fact that we can use that to hang it on the wall um, how cool is that so that is it um, so yeah I will come back once this has dried and we will paint it all white put our colour on yeah and then I think um I think we'll be finished but it's looking so cool so um don't forget that julia um to, to go over to our lovely julia's um page um and check her make out i mean it, that's what i'll be doing as soon as um yeah as soon as uh, six o'clock comes on saturday um so it'll be it's i think we're it's uploading the second saturday and the fourth saturday for every month which is so so awesome it's oh, i'm so glad that we are now doing two two a month because it just makes makes it even more fun okay stop babbling um right i will be back once this is all dry and yeah we'll get it painted so see you in a second so, so i'm back okay so it's the next day i did leave this overnight to dry um so what we are going to do now is we're going to coat this completely with white gesso now my room seems to be quite dark um so yeah, don't know why. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some of this uh, kitchen roll um, just to put down over my mat. And then what we are going to do is, now I'm going to bring in my 13 arch gesso because I so much prefer it. 
um, to this one. I just think it covers so much better. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, go over the whole piece and it's probably going to end up taking two or three coats of white gesso. So that's what I'm going to do and you can sort of see straight away just adding this little bit of white it is starting to transform our piece uh, completely which I just think is gorgeous. Um, so yeah really really love it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do it off camera because we don't want this video to be super super long. Um, and it probably will be because normally I will sort of end up chatting away to you. Um, but yeah, I will do a couple of coats and then we're going to come back and use our acrylic paints um, to... Um, do you need a hand with that, Lou? Double check. Okay, well, I'll check, I'll, as soon as I pause this, um, I'll come to it. So, Lucy is just baking, so yeah. yeah. Um, and because uh, I'm right off the kitchen, I can keep an eye on her and help her out as and when she needs, which is just awesome. But she loves baking cakes. Um, so, yeah. Um, so there might be a super short video of me baking. <laughs> yeah, cool. That's awesome. So, Lucy does have her own uh, YouTube channel, so um, which is just awesome. <laughs> um, why is it too hot? Why is it too hot? It's because it's summer, sweetie. <laughs> so, uh, like I say, I'm going to finish this off. Um, yeah, I oh, can't wait to see what our gorgeous Julia has gone down. It's, it's sort of what route she's taken. I'm so excited because, like I say, it just looks like a, a random bunch of bits and pieces that I have sent her. So I'm always super excited to see what she has done. So once you've been here, then do go over and check our lovely Julia out. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this. I'll probably do another couple of coats and then we'll come back and we'll start cutting. Um, I've got a few colours out, so I have this raw umber, um, I also have this terracotta and then I have got a couple of pinks, I don't know whether I'm going to use them yet, so I've got rose and I've got violet dawn and then I also have some black so that we can add in some shading, so they're the colours that I have um, gone through my stash and chosen, so yeah, I will be back once this is done. Okay, so I'm back. So we have covered this all in white gesso. Um, if you can hear anything in the background, it seems to be everything is on. So the washing machine's on, the oven's on. Um, my daughter is um, washing the pot. So it seems to be a really, really busy, busy house. Um, so yeah. However, I really, really wanted to get this done. Um, so I must admit, I'm having so much fun with it. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to be using a baby wipe. So I'm going to be painting on the paint. Now I'm just using a sheet of copier paper. Um, so let me just put a splodge there. Um, and then... <laughs> um, yeah, so just a couple of splodges. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a paintbrush. Um, so let's see if I can find... All of my paintbrush seems to be... I've left them all in water and really that is not good for, for them. But, however, the best ones are these ones um all my old ones because i've really because i've used them for dry brush and they've gone very soft and really nice to work with so i'm going to start off with my lighter color i'm just going to put a bit on and then i'm just going to sort of dab it in all over just like this and then what we're going to do is get our baby wipe and we're actually going to wipe off that paint so just like this so as you can see really getting in there now I'm not worried that the gesso is coming off my um, glass bits because I had a feeling that they would um, we will deal with that um, a bit later um, actually I think I'm just gonna go just do a little bit more just in a few areas and then I think I want to do that darker color another <laughs> the washing machine seems to go it, it seems to be on its spin now so it's really going for it so i am very sorry about that noise um oh, i hadn't realized it's all yeah it, uh, it says it has four minutes left so uh, let's see if it is right i'm bringing in 
that um, this a darker colour. So just like this, and really getting in where I can, um, and then I'm just going to wipe that um, off. And as you can see, we're getting that lovely, lovely texture. Now I learned this um, technique actually from the lovely um, Marta Lepowska from um, Marami Small Arts. Um, who I absolutely love watching um, but loving how this is looking I'm loving how dark it is wow oh my word honestly my oh I can't even tell you how silly my husband is oh uh, yeah I'm not yeah okay I'm lost for words <laughs> wow if you just saw that then so he I got some of these bubble wrap thing bag things pouch things well it's mainly just air actually it's not quite like bubble wrap it's like tubes of bubble wrap and he's just put it on his hat, head like a hat because well why wouldn't you yeah why wouldn't you okay so as you can see wiping most of that color off now i think i'm gonna have to grab another baby wipe because it is do you know what i'm gonna take off all the dress off that um yeah I quite like that. It's the only downside to sort of doing this sort of technique is it does take it all off. Now, just going to get in and really go. So it's not looking like much at the minute, but trust me, this is going to look amazing. Well, I hope it is. So just getting all of this off. Now, I am going to actually come in and add in um some of now i can't remember if i'd said to julia we could bring in our um tim hall words or not i really can't remember right i'm gonna add some of this pink in actually um so not much just um so i'm not really liking that oh i can't like it mixed in with that brown um, I am going to do some dry brushing as well so let's oh loving that colour really really nice I think I might even paint those and leave them like that but I'm also going to do some dry brushing as well using um, my white gesso um, just so that it brings out all that detail so okay really get in with that pink because that pink just looks absolutely fab try and get rid of most of this like rusty colour um because I'm not not overly keen on it I don't like it so um but that's a good thing is you can just paint over it if you don't like something so again just with my um with this my baby wipe we are just taking off some of that colour now oh, look at the way I've done um I also need to check the oven um my youngest is baking cakes so she's made me a batch of gluten-free cakes and how cool is that oh, I'm loving this right do you know what I'm gonna do because I feel like I might actually ruin this if I carry on she says carrying on um yeah let me wipe this last bit off and what i'm going to do is where the glass cabochons are and they've sort of gone um clear is i am actually going to paint over with a bit of this pink and brown because i really like that um really i should have put gesso on again but so just yeah just on those bits there like that just for added detail um, but yeah loving that right okay so let me get rid of this sheet of paper so you can see how the coloring is now once we actually start doing the dry brushing with our white it transforms it completely and makes it look just absolutely amazing it'll bring out all of those textures and everything so um but i don't think i'll add i'm not sure if i said that we could add our tim holtz words but i'm liking it just with that love on um so 
so I think that that will be it and then um, I do have this butterfly which I think I'm just going to pop on um, just maybe there just like that so um, I think that's all I'm going to do I don't think it needs anything else I'm just going to sort of dab them yeah right so let's leave that to dry once that is dry i will be back we'll do some dry brushing and then we're finished but oh so excited um i'm absolutely loving it so yeah i'll be back in a second okay so i'm back it's all dry so i did blast it with my heat gun so i'm hoping um it is um all dry it looks it um but we might have some discoloration so um again i'm bringing in my white gesso for this um really i need a dry paint brush but i don't know where i put all my paint brushes so let's see if we can dry this off the best we can um the more well it's ideal highly ideally it needs to be a dry okay so i'm just going to pop some of this paint into actually let's pop it into my old lid yeah because there we go so we want just a, a small amount on our brush um, there's actually quite a bit on that um, and then we're just going to sort of um, just brush over our elements so um, nice and lightly and this is going to bring out all of our texture which is what I love about dry brushing I just think it transforms the piece so nice now I want to know what colour is our lovely Julia going to go for because um, I think that is going to be super fun to find out um, oh, loving this and I love this bit as well I love how that is looking I'm loving the fact that I've gone different directions um, so yeah so I mean like I say dry brushing is your best friend with mixed media it really does transform um, a piece of art it always this is now this is why I wasn't worried about the uh, um, paint coming off the glass elements because I knew that I was going to be coming in um, with my gesso I did do some dry brushing so I knew that it would um, cover them quite nicely now I'm loving the texture out of the back I just think that is gorgeous um yeah just stunning I'm just sort of going all the way around and I've got paint on me would you believe right look at this I've actually got it on my top do you know this is the second time I've done it luckily it's just an old top so hopefully it will um yeah so it's not it's not one of my good ones I wouldn't care, I've actually got an apron there as well that I got in my Tonic Studio kit. So, yeah, look at that. How beautiful is that looking? Oh, I love, I'm in love with it. I, yeah, I really want some of these elements to really sort of um, stand out and be bright, bright white if we can because I just think that is, yeah it just makes a massive difference um it almost has a very romantic feel about it doesn't it so just really really um and you just uh, slowly build it up as well so take your time um there's no rush at all um it's just keep on going you can stop at any point like i said the small just small amounts um when you're dry brushing is definitely better and building up those um, layers um, and you get a much much um, nicer um, sort of a look I'm loving that weight on those edges of that spoon oh look at how amazing they look so yeah that's really really does make it look gorgeous right Oh, definitely definitely need to see what our goddess Julie has done really need to see I just know she'll have excelled at this challenge and you know what it just goes to show you can actually make art out of anything I mean this is cutlery so who would have thought I do actually have more of these so 
quite tempted to sort of, that's a bit too much weight in that corner. So I did go a bit too heavy handed, but do you know what? I don't mind. I quite like it, so yeah. I don't think I'm going to add much more to it. I think we're just about done. Um, the, yeah, I really am. The only thing that I'm going to add to this now is, um, yeah, is I'm just going to add that butterfly, but I'm going, I am going to paint the back of it white because I just think it'll look prettier. Um, so yeah, make it all nice and pretty on the back. I mean, I know nobody sees the back, but there's nothing wrong with just putting that little extra coat of gesso on just so that it looks a little bit prettier. Um, and especially if someone picks it up and has a look. Um, actually, it's very, I don't do it to every project, but I quite like the idea of doing it to this one. Um, so there we are. Oh, gorgeous. So, right, nearly done, nearly, nearly done. Just a little bit of white there. Right, okay, that's it. I can't get out my um, brush anymore. That one's in there, that one's there. Yep, <clears throat> so there it is. How gorgeous does that look? I mean, what a massive difference compared to when we started. Who would have thought? Oh, I just think it's absolutely stunning. Um, but yeah, I love it. I've just put it up just because the back of it is is wet. Now, um, we are going to pop this butterfly on because you know what? Why not? I think I just I think a little bit, um, just one sort of embellishment. Now, um, I am actually going to if I can find it. Um, oh, if you saw the state of my room, it really seriously needs to be tidied. Uh, oh, it's right in front of my face. Um, I'm actually going to use my gel medium for this uh, because I would like it to stay. And then when it's dry, I'm going to actually put it on my wall because I really, really like it. I think it looks gorgeous. So, oh, the dogs are about to start as well. Yep, there she goes. Right, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so there we have it there is my um make for doll and julia creates now i don't know what we have planned for two weeks a time it will be our gorgeous julia's turn so super excited as always um but how gorgeous does that look love that butterfly that butterfly i think is why i ended up well actually we had the orange as well so with the brown on oh, actually you know what I think that might go better let's just move that a second no I'm sticking with the pink I like the pink right let's pop that back in the back right yeah we'll have the pink so yeah so that is it wow I love it so please do hop along to our lovely Julia have a look to see what she has done let's see what path she has gone down um it's always exciting when we do our challenges and especially because we never know until these videos go up what the other person has done so this is it this is my make absolutely gorgeous absolutely love it i've had so much fun making it it's yeah i'm just hoping our lovely julia um enjoys it just as much as i have and doesn't think that it is a super mean challenge um but i i have tried to make sure there was plenty of bits and pieces in there so yeah i hope i've succeeded Su succeeded yeah succeeded i don't know um yeah words are not my best uh, my strong point at the minute but yeah that is it thank you so much for watching like i said please do head over and see our gorgeous julia and um, also subscribe to her and hit her bell so you're notified when she uploads her videos because she is super fab and always has the most amazing ideas um also do uh, subscribe here as well and hit that bell so you, you are notified as and when i upload um which is normally every day um so yeah that is it for today thank you so much for watching and yeah until next time happy crafting bye